A unit circle has a radius of 1. There are an infinite number of points on any circle, but the unit circle has 16 points that are super interesting. Here's the first one. 0, 0 degrees. Now let's go halfway around the circle. Well, that makes a straight line, so that's 180 degrees. Now let's split the top in half. So that would be half of 180, which is 90 degrees. Split the bottom in half. If you start at 0, 90, 180, this would be a 270 degree rotation. Finish the rotation and you end up where you started at 360 degrees. And yeah, 0 and 360 are in the same place. So you have to keep track of the context of anytime they ask you, are you starting starting from zero, or have you gone one full rotation already? So that's four points on the unit circle. Let's find the other 12. Going up from zero, we're going to go up 30 degrees. And it's not an accident that I'm using a right triangle to show it to you. This is a special right triangle. The hypotenuse is the radius of the circle, so we know that the length is one. If we pull in another one of our special right triangles is the 45, 45, 90 triangle. Again, the hypotenuse length is one. And then if I bring back that 30, 60, 90 triangle, but kind of rotate it a little bit, so the 60 degree angle is here in the center, then you find another point up here. Now we're going to find all the rest of the points. And the first set of points I want to find are the ones that have the 30 degree angle as a reference point. Now I want you to think about the center of the circle as the origin on a coordinate grid. This is in quadrant one. There will be a point in quadrant two a point in quadrant three, and a point in quadrant four. All right, so let's figure out those points in terms of angles, 30 degrees. The next one will be over here in quadrant two. And if you start from zero and go all the way over to that, that would be 150 degrees. To help you remember this, if you have to ever memorize these, think about the fact that you know that the straight line across is 180, subtract that 30 degrees, that would be 150. The next one would be 210. And for this one, I want you to think about 180 plus 30 degrees. Swinging over to the fourth quadrant, this one would be 300. 30 degrees and I want you to think about this one as 360 minus 30 degrees. Using the 45 degree triangle, let's find the other points. There'll be one in quadrant two, one in quadrant three, and one in quadrant four. So we know that the first one is 45 degrees. The second one will be 135 degrees starting from zero and swinging all the way over to that. Think 180 minus 45 degrees. The third one down in quadrant three will be 225 degrees and for this one you want to think 180 degrees plus 45 degrees. The fourth one in quadrant four will be 315 degrees. And for this one, you want to think 360 minus 45 degrees. All right, let's do the same thing with the 60 degree triangle. First, we rotate the triangles around so that we can find the four points. The first angle will be 60 degrees. The second angle in the second quadrant is 120. Think 180 minus 60. The third angle will be 240 degrees. That one's down here in quadrant three, and I want you to think 180 plus 60. And for the fourth one is 300 degrees, and for this one you think 360 minus 60 degrees. And let's look at all of them together. This is the unit circle angles and degrees, and there is a really easy way to learn the radians. Click into this video next.